Hey everybody, Elite Series Angler Chad Morgan Taylor. There she is. Come here, girl. 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 Yeah! Yeah! Finally! I'm gonna give you the tour of my man cave. Finally, I've been so excited. It's taken a long time to complete it. But first of all, right outside of my man cave, my home away from home on wheels, the old grand design reflection. We're going a lot. It makes the comforts of home very, very nice. And now to the inside. As you can see here in Missouri, you can't find a piece of flat land to build on. We really didn't need a house this size, but I always wanted my man cave in my basement, my basement to be my man cave, however you word it, come on in. All right, y'all, here it is. This is how I roll. As you can see, I've got my F-350 that pulls my grand design reflection. We'll just start in here. This is where my fishing buddies stay whenever they come to visit. I set up a couple bedrooms down here for them, try to make them feel at home. Got a little bit of carpenter in me. I built the headboard, the frame for the bed. I, met, I built the uh, bureau. It's got its own bathroom. You can flow right on through. Shower, scrub up after a hard day on the lake. In here, I kind of built my entertainment center um, where you can sit down at the table, work on baits, watch a little tube here, watch a little tube over there. Um, I kind of got creative with the barrels for my upper cabinets. I wanted those, so I went and bought me some barrels, had them stained and slacked, and put the mirrors in the back, little glass shelf. Now this is my safe room, and by that I mean it's all concrete. It's an overdig of the front porch, so concrete roof, concrete walls, in case something goes down, so I put my most valuable possessions in here, all my fishing stuff. Got some loose reels up there, got my missile baits, my crank baits, my tackle boxes, and all of my stuff that I pilfer with. Got my mercury props down here, um, spare tackle boxes with baits in it that I pack up and I take on the road with me so that I don't really have to rely on trying to get stuff in. Hopefully if I run, th run out of something, I've got it. Look at this. 2000. That's right. It says 2000. 2001, 2002, another 2001. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time. But uh, in here, I always wanted to keep my truck and my boat. I got my Phoenix in here hooked up to my tr truck. I can stay hooked up, disconnect, whatever I want. Um, what I did was I put me, I mounted a fan up there, an oscillating fan, so that if it gets wet, I can dry it out. I displayed a few of my trophies, my championship trophies, a few of my other memorabilia from along the way. Um, it's, been a, it's been a fun ride. And of course, those are very near and dear to my heart, obvious for obvious reasons. And Never to forget where you come from, near and dear to my heart. This was my helmet whenever I was a firefighter for 13 years in the city of Carbondale. Kept, they allowed me to keep this whenever I retired out early, um, which started this whole mess. Here I had a custom made cabinet so that I could keep some of my fishing poles in. Keep them close to the boat. Got a little bit of memorabilia over here. My classic badges, a few more trophies. That's one of my uh, bow Illinois deer that I took a while back. I do love to deer hunt. And we put in two bathrooms with two bedrooms down here. But this one, since we really didn't need the room, this is, this is where I try my best to stay fit. So I turned this into a gym and uh, I need to be getting down here a lot more as you can probably tell. But being a firefighter, near and dear to my heart, try to stay in shape. It helps me on tour. And there you have it. Now, this is, <laughs> this is funny. My wife turned me loose with one room in the house. It was a bathroom. And I decided to build this all myself. Put a half door in, tin on it, 
Every, it drives her crazy that everybody likes this bathroom. I built this myself, the sink, the whole nine yards. And pretty much that's it with one other thing that I want to show you. I did serve as a firefighter for a long time. I did some stint with the police department, so I have a law enforcement background as well. And I was fortunate enough back in 2009 to get to fly with the Blue Angels. And uh, obviously the military near and dear to my heart. Thoughts and prayers always with them. I can't express my gratitude and appreciation for what all they do for us and for allowing me to take part in that. So there you have it. This is my main cave. I hope you enjoyed it. It's time for me to do a little chill. Y'all gonna have to go now. Ain't gonna be no exposure of the secret babes, the wiggle warts, all that stuff that everybody's always trying to get their hands on. I know that those are great baits to have. I kept those secret for a reason. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Peace out.